All right, quick video on the 2011 Chevy Cruze 1.4 turbo. This is how to change the O2 sensors. This is your upstream here. This is your downstream back here. It's behind the engine. Get yourself a good O2 sensor socket. I got this $5 one off eBay and it ended up originally stripping the rear one. This rear one is a pain to get out. Got a good one. I got it out first try. You're gonna need some extenders like this. I ended up using that to get access to the back one. So it extended all the way up. Watch your uh, brake boost line here. When it's Once that back one cracked, I ended up breaking this little plastic thing off. So I had epoxy it back on. Be careful of that. Both new O2 sensors will come with Loctite on them. If you're reusing the old ones for whatever reason, you'll have to put a little bit more on the threads. Never touch these tips here, these are the old ones. Never touch these tips here, because just like a halogen light bulb, that oil will, uh, will burn these out. Your upstream O2 sensor is this longer one. The clip here, the one in the, it's gonna slide up, and as it slides up, it pushes this out. The rear one's the short one, it just has this little doohickey right here. You just pull, push this in and that pulls out. Here's your part numbers. Six is the uh, downstream, seven is the upstream. I did end up getting Bosch. RockAuto.com, cheapest place to buy them. Torque both sensors down to 30 foot pounds. The oxygen sensor socket slides on like so. Goes on like that. Really easy to use, get a good one. Blue wire comes up, your clip's right here. This top part is gonna pull up as it pulls up that unclips, real easy. All right guys, you can kind of see here, I have all my extenders lined up and I have this coming up. This is a half inch drive breaker bar. So it's gonna take some force to get that rear one broke. Be careful, like I said, watch this. That's how I cracked it once it gave way. So you might, might wanna unclip these if you're, uh, if yours is having trouble. All right, here's the view from underneath. You see your clip goes up there. Your O2 sensor is gonna be a 7 8 22 millimeter. I did use an adapter to get that 3 8 up to a uh, half inch drive for my breaker bar. All right, guys, this should be a real simple job to do. The rear one was a pain to get out. It may help to keep the engine hot, and as soon as you turn off the engine, try to pop that rear one out. Uh, it took some force with my breaker bar. As always, like and subscribe. If you've got a question, leave it in the comments below. Thank you.